Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to another Build and Break Garage episode. In today's episode, I'm really excited because we're going to be doing an experiment on Midori. So, we obviously found out that from the straight pipe video that went horribly wrong, uh, that uh, something happens between the point where it dumps to the point of the tips. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to actually start doing the exhaust and we're going to piece by piece go through and we're going to put the straight piece on and then we're going to put the first 90 on and start the car, see how it sounds, see if it changes uh, tone or anything. And then we're going to add another piece and add another piece and add another piece to the point where, hope, well, hopefully not because my end goal is to make it sound as good as it does now and it's out the back. But if it does change, we'll find out along the route. So it should be kind of interesting to see. So without further ado, this is going to be the last cold startup of open header, hopefully. Last uh, cold start, but it's uh, open header. So next up is to cut the old exhaust off, which I have to take the re-diffuser off. So that's gonna be first, and then uh, yeah, we get started from there. Also, you guys will like that I'm using jack stands, even though I'm using them on cinder blocks, because you know I gotta figure out a way to somehow trigger you guys. So never had a problem with them before like this. So fingers crossed today is not any different. So let's get to cutting. Alright guys, well I got the rear diffuser off and the rear bumper, uh, now I'm just figuring out where I want to cut this, so that, uh, cause I'm trying to remove it as big as piece as possible, uh, to make it easier, or to see, I'm trying to see how big I can make it before I can't put it on the car anymore, so, cause I want to do all the welding off of the car, cause I hate, I, I can't under car weld to save my life, so, the, I'm only planning on having one connection where I have to either weld or clamp, hoping to use the clamp, but, uh, yeah, so let's find this out. Hi guys, uh, well I started getting all everything together, I got the welder out now, and I'm going to weld this V-band on, and then the fun gets started, so yeah. Alright guys, well I got the first uh, uh, piece of the new exhaust on, um, it's just zip tied up in the air right now, but that is my first piece. So that extends the pipe by about three foot or so. Um, so I'm gonna start it up, see how it sounds. I don't think it's gonna do anything, uh, but uh, the first 90 is ready to go on and uh, we'll see how, it, see how it sounds. Okay, and with that, the raft is back, so I need to figure out what the hell I'm going to do here. Um, but yeah, it uh, doesn't sound good anymore. Fuck. Okay guys, so bit of a change here. As you heard just a second ago, uh, I put all the bends in, it sounds like crap again. So, and I just, I don't see a way around it, it's like, I don't think... I don't think I'm going to be able to make it sound like it sounds up at the cut like it doesn't back. It's just, I don't think it's possible. Um, it just, even adding like two bends, it still sounds raspy. But luckily, I just so happened to have a brand new two and a half inch Magnaflow sitting in the garage. And uh, it's looking like it'll fit. It sounds a hell of a lot better. Um, I didn't get a clip with it uh, on the car, but it sounds like it's actually, I think, quieter than my last setup. 
but it sounds it's a really rich smooth tone sounds really good so I'm gonna uh, I still gotta get all the pipes ran to the back but uh, so far looking good all right guys uh, well I haven't been filming much only because I'm trying to save as much room as I can on my card anyway I got the first like quarter of the exhaust done I got my welds aren't pretty but they're sealed and I got the hanger on so now I'm gonna fit this up in the car. Today's goal is just to get me over the axle, and then I'll deal with the rest of it tomorrow. But uh, let's get the rest of it done tonight. All right, guys. Well, it's uh, the end of the day for me. I uh, got, got it to go over the axle right where I needed it to. I had to bend up some of the trunk. So the exhaust is now here. As you can see, goes up underneath. I actually am really surprised. I've actually got it pretty good. You know, clearing the clearing the frame and everything. Yeah, it's like five o'clock. I've been working on this damn near all day, and uh, I'm gonna save the rest of it for tomorrow, where it's supposed to be a little warmer. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in like two seconds tomorrow. All right, guys, and welcome back to day two. Uh, I just got back from getting breakfast and everything. Uh, still, I'm contemplating on what my plan is for the day, but uh, we're gonna start fabbing up the rear end. Should be interesting. Hopefully, it uh, goes smooth because, uh, yeah, this is where it gets really difficult. Because now I know where I want the muffler and I know where the pipe comes over, but now I have to figure out how to get to both those connected. So let's uh, see. Um, yeah, enjoy watching me uh, figure this stuff out. Hi right, guys, well, change the plan yet again. I decided to cut the sub spare tire well out of the car, as you can see. Uh, I just, it, it'll make it easier for me to finish completing the exhaust and I've always wanted to just kind of make it a flat floor back here, so uh, it works out. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up and pray to God that this whole thing works. And I, just make a huge, and I didn't just make a huge big mistake. guys so I've been doing a horrible job of documenting this it has been a complete mind fuck getting all the right angles and everything how I want it but I got the tips on finally and I mean these this whole thing is rock solid this is how the muffler looks yeah I'm gonna throw this over top of that hole which is a spare tire cover at least temporarily until I can make something more sturdy at least that'll close up the car so uh, yeah so now it's just uh, Putting, uh, putting that on and then uh, getting the rediffuser on and we're done. Okay guys, so I am gonna be taking off. Uh, so that's the end of today. Uh, I know it looks like I got pretty much everything done. I still gotta put on the diffuser and everything and I gotta find all these parts and my, I'm starting to get a headache from all these fumes. So I'm gonna go inside and finish this up probably tomorrow. So yeah, but I'm gonna let you guys hear it at least. Uh, it sounds pretty good. Mmm. -hmm.